Hey folks, hope you had a uh, great holiday, but it's January, and guess what guys, it's that time again, yes, time to start planting the gardens, time to start getting ready for some seeds. So I've got a great tool I want to share with you guys, stay tuned, this tool makes life a lot easier. So planting can be difficult planning could be a lot of chaos last year i had uh, you could see these uh, six beds here and i had one in the south so that was uh, seven beds i used spreadsheets and i used a notebook and that was a lot of work this, planning these seven beds square foot gardening method uh, was a lot of work this year guys this year i have tripled my number of beds look at these i have got 20 yes added a greenhouse 21 beds so what's that gonna do for my planning well i gotta tell you what i found a tool that has made it so much easier i have every bed planned every square foot planned and it was so much easier this year than it was last year even though i've got triple the work it was it was nothing, it was nothing. And I wanna share that with you guys. I wanna share my tool with you. It's an app, yeah, it's an app. It's not my app. I'm not getting any money from these guys. Um, they're not sponsoring me or anything like that, but I found this app and uh, uh, it was just a great tool. So I wanna share that with you. All right, folks, before I show you every uh, one of these uh, features uh, that I'm using, I wanna show you how I am using this app first. What I've got here is on my own screen. These are my different gardens. I've got raised beds and I've got several in-ground beds. There are 24 different beds. So this is mine. I'm gonna to go to the standard templates in just a minute, but let me show you what I personally am doing. Here's one of the beds. Take a look at this. I've got all these different um, uh, vegetables and uh, I love that they show me where the companion plant is with these uh, green marks, all right? And uh, they're red if they're combative plants. So that's just one of the beds. Let me show you another one. This is another one. And these are how I'm using. Let me go pick another one. Here's another bed. Look at the variety here. And um, yeah, each one of these is a different kind of plant. I click on that and that's dill. Look at that. Amazing. So I can learn about this. So that's mine. Now let me go ahead and uh, show you screen by screen. I've got templates from their website. Uh, that'll give you a better picture. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, guys. So I showed you uh, what mine looks like. Let me walk through the process. You guys are going to see that this is an awesome tool, awesome tool here. So this first screen here, uh, this is where you start out. You got to build your garden. This is set up for the square foot method. So you click the new garden and uh, you can see over here, it says uh, side garden. You get to name the garden. And this is an eight by four, eight foot by four foot uh, garden here. So um, I think the free uh, issue, the free uh, version here, um, you can only have one garden or maybe just a couple. Um, I went and paid for the, um, uh, I went and paid for the subscription. So I've got uh, 24 separate gardens on mine. So once you have your garden, um, you've got to put uh, vegetables uh, in it or plants in it. And uh, this is what the screen looks like. Lots of different options. In this particular case, they are divided by uh, type. And um, uh, you can also organize those by um, uh, alphabet. So take a look at this, all the different options here. And uh, one thing I love about this, I really do love, is if you take a look here at the, the basil, uh, you can have different varieties. So I've got multiple varieties, different uh, plants in different areas. And uh, I can uh, identify specifically which variety is going into which square of which garden. And this just makes it real easy for me. All right. So once we uh, click and drag, we just really click and drag the stuff over. And uh, you could take a look. This is what a garden looks like. I've got my garden mapped out here. And a couple of things I want to show you. One, take a look at that tomato. Tomato takes more than one square. So this um, this program will let you know that so that you give it adequate space so that it can feed. Also, take a look at these green dots here. Um, and this uh, green dot tells you that these are companion plants, that they work uh, well with each other. Now, if you put a plant there and it's a red dot, that's a combative plant. And I tell you what, last year 
I spent so much time with different tables and different charts trying to make sure I got the right plants next to each other, not the bad plants. I really spent a lot of time. This right here is worth the money for me. It really is. If it did nothing else, this would be a winner, but it really does so much more. All right. So uh, if you want to find out more information about a plant, it's real easy. You just click on the plant icon. Uh, oh, before we do that, um, take a look inside the plant. Look at this beet. Uh, it says uh, uh, 4x. It tells you how many per square foot. And uh, they got four. They got nine. Uh, uh, some are 16. Uh, that carrot is 16. So uh, it does tell you how many uh, that you can plant. So again, you don't have to research all that. It really takes a lot of the research um, out of the uh, uh, out of the picture. All right, so you click on the uh, plant and uh, looking at the beets, a lot of information here. Okay, a lot of information gives you description categories, um, tells you about uh, how to plant it, the depth, how much sun you need, water, and all that. And uh, I love the grown calendar because this tells me when the plant. In this case, uh, it's purple, so it says a uh, plant uh, or so outside. So uh, um, uh, it really does help. And uh, I uh, plugged in. The, you may be wondering, does it, you know, is it set up by different regions? Well, I uh, did give it uh, my uh, zip code. I think where I had to, I had to put in my uh, first frost, last frost dates. I think I had to put in those dates, and uh, then it calculates everything for me. So again, another helpful tool. I don't have to map all this out. Last year I mapped all this out. I don't have to do any of this. Uh, so I love this on the uh, varieties. You can add a lot of different varieties. It has a bunch of pre-selected ones. And the way you add this uh, to your uh, list is you just click that heart, and that will add it to your drop-down list on the garden so that um, you can choose from that one. All right. Also, um, the uh, calendar, you take a look at this. You just scroll down, and uh, you can uh, plan your planting by looking at each type of plant and uh, know when to plant outside, know when to plant inside, etc. All right, so uh, that's the uh, app here. I just wanted to really uh, show some of those uh, details here uh, for you. Um, so uh, the garden, take a look at this garden. Uh, that's a beautiful one. Um, I've got 24 of these all laid out. This app made it so much easier. The amount of work that I put into this this year was so much less than last year, even though I got triple the space. All right. So, guys, check out these links in the description. I've got a link for an Android, and I've got a different link for the Apple um, version of these apps. Check out these links and uh, call these. You know, let these guys know. Send them a message after you um, check it out. Let them know that Strategic Prepper sent you. I'm not getting any money from them. And um, just let them know. Strategic Prepper sent you, and I can guarantee you that you guys are going to love this. All right, happy planting, stay safe, and stay prepared.